Awesome, man. Well, we'll jump right into it. We know you're a man led by faith. How have you been, you know, and, and your thought process with the last week and everything going on? Um, just let us kind of know how you've been and, and what's the message you've been trying to spread. Um, honestly, brother, I've been um, I've been struggling, really, like a lot of people, um, you know, because it's one thing after another. You know, it's not just George Floyd. It was Ahmaud Arbery, it was Breonna Taylor, you know, and that was just in the last few weeks. Um, then when we're talking about last year and the year before and the year before, there's compounded trauma that I think we all deal with when we see certain images on TV. And so, you know, uh, last week, a few days ago, uh, I was watching TV and for some reason I just started crying when they were reading out all these names. You just start weeping. And I think that as, as human beings, we uh, internalize a lot. And, and especially uh, I think those of us in the black community have a a different way of dealing with tragedy. We see ourselves in the people that we see these things happen to. It's like, I see myself yeah, yeah. in a way that I think my white brothers and sisters don't understand sometimes until we have those conversations. I think we just, because of our experience in this country is different. We just view things differently. And so I've struggled, but I've also been encouraged. I've had several, like you, I've had several great conversations, um, been able to you know, tell people to read certain books to get an idea about history. I've educated myself a little bit more. Uh, th the great thing is I've seen a collective, it's like a collective exhale, not just from Black America, but from America in its totality. I heard one of you mention before, there are people of all um, ethnic groups, socioeconomic groups um, that are, are kind of fed up with what they've seen and they want to get engaged and they want to create some type of change. So my message has simply been, um, what it always has been, but you know, it starts with listening. It starts with everybody letting their guards down to have a substantive conversa conversation. It starts with educating ourselves. A lot of people don't know what they don't know. There's a lot of ignorant, ignorant people. Like they're not purposely ignorant. They just don't know. So yeah. we need to, if it's something we care about, educate ourselves. That comes a variety of different ways. And then, you know, one thing we always talk about is, you know, being part of the change. How do I do that? Um, what's something small that I can do? Is it using my voice? Is it walking outside and protesting? Is it writing? Is it having a conversation with a family member? Is it stepping across, you know, ethnic lines to speak with somebody who has a different experience? Is it getting involved in policy? Is it, you name it, um, all those things. So I think that I'm, I'm doing better, but I think we, we've all had a rough, um, you know, several weeks emotionally, not just personally, but just as a country in general, just kind of figure out where we are. 